Hey everybody. So, spending that Patreon money. I uh, got my first batch of uh, stuff in, so I'm gonna kind of do a review of it. I got a bunch of stuff arriving this week. Um, mainly what I'm doing is I like to spend the last month getting all my gear caught up so I start the beginning of the next year with a clean slate. So that means getting my rods and reels all matched up, cleaned up, uh, replace all the gear that's damaged and broken. And then I also got some of the new stuff that I'm adding. And I've got more stuff coming, like I said, during this week. So I'm gonna piece together a bunch of these videos and to make one big one about all this stuff that I'm getting in. So at least my Patreon supporters know where that money's going. And uh, as always, Thank you guys so much for uh, supporting the channel. It makes a huge difference as hopefully you'll be able to see on top of all the other stuff that I've already bought. So anyways, check it out. All right, let's kind of review the stuff that I got in this first batch. Um, this stuff might look familiar, but basically this is to wear, repair my lagging cinematic stick. Uh, originally I started with the one inch ball mounts, so I've upped it to the one and a halves. So I've got a mount that's gonna go onto the hole of the kayak, and then that adapter, and then this ball will mount onto the end of the PVC, and I'll still use the other end the same, but then that gets me one and a half inch heavy duty, that's not bending. So that's gonna fix that and get my cinematic stick on the left hand side where most of the time I'm fighting the fish. Bam! And I'm gonna actually do that today. Uh, this is just the accoutrement to that, all the stainless steel nuts and bolts to mount those. And the caps for the PVC. Then I've got a butt cap for my um, Shimano Terramar uh, light tackle rod. And uh, this, this basically replaced the cork that broke off on the bottom of it. So that's gonna help out so it's not keep scratching my kidney. Then I've got this, it's gonna be a huge deal. These are Dragmaster drags, uh, carbon fiber drag washers. This is for my vertical jigging reel, the uh, Torium 16. Uh, but I've got some other parts for that because that's been down for a couple weeks now because I lost the anti-reverse. But also I didn't have very much drag and I was getting my butt kicked on the Rex. So that's gonna fix the drag there. Then, I've got all these parts here, and this is just half of it. The other stuff is on special order. Uh, this is the, uh, the uh, Shimano Torium 16, the anti-reverse the Paul, or they should call it like a shift dog. It basically prevents the reel from turning backwards, and that's the problem I had, is that if I let go the handle was on pressure, that handle would just free spin backwards and uh, bust my knuckles. But I got two of them because if they wear out once, then I want to have backups. I tend to buy a lot of backups for my reels because I like to have the stuff instead of waiting a week to get them repaired. I can't be down that long. Another problem with that same um, anti-reverse problems, these are for the Pen 4000 conflicts. I've got one that has a uh, bad gear that um, uh, the, the anti-reverse gear was not wor working or there's one bad uh, bearing in there that's causing it to let it slip and then it just spins and busts my knuckles and lets the fish off again. Got a bunch of screws for the Conflict 4000 because they get worn out. I redo my reels about at least once a month, if not more. Uh, then I've got an end cap that broke off for the 4000. And then I've got some new bearings for the 4000. Uh, I had one bad bearing, but I'm gonna replace two, another one on the opposite side of the main gear. Then I've got also another six to eight pieces that were our special order for those same uh, pen conflicts that I'll get probably in another week to two weeks. But that is all the stuff I got in this batch. For the kayak, I wanted to revise the good old cinematic stick. Uh, originally, I had built it with one inch ram balls. And then what I found out was because of the length of the pipe and then the GoPro weight on the end, these one inch balls are not strong enough to maintain the weight, so both of them were slipping. I finally got it to work okay in stationary position, uh, just due to just residue, salt buildup, corrosion, and whatnot. But uh, if I had any movement, they would slowly start slipping, so not very functional. 
Plus, I wanted to make a mount on the left-hand side of the kayak because that side I tend to leave open and that's where I land all my fish and try to do most of my fighting. So having the camera on the left side would probably be a little bit more beneficial. So what I decided to do is I picked up a one and a half inch ball mount for the base. So I've got a, a standard base that's gonna just sit onto the top of the mount on the top of the kayak there. Then it goes one and a half to one and a half. I'm gonna do a, another cinematic stick with a longer piece now that I have that stability. I'm gonna use my old uh, original light stick that I made. Uh, if you guys need a real cheap, inexpensive, quick and easy way, they have these um, light gear light sticks. They're just these clear tubing and then with colored head, press the button, it lights up down here, press again and then the red light goes off there and then you can make it flash. They're like four or five bucks and they fit perfectly in this uh, half inch, uh, three quarter inch uh, PVC and you just glue it on there and you're good to go. And you could just twist this off and replace the battery. So it's just a quick, easy kayak light, but I don't use it anymore. So I'm just gonna cut that off and use this length to revise it. Um, I'm still gonna use the same head system, the one inch head, because that was no problem since it's short. I have another one inch ball, so I don't have to cut this one up. And I'm gonna mount that on the one side of that PVC and then have the one and a half on the base and I should be good. One of the cool aspects of uh, placing the base up front here is that it gives me the ability to point it down and I can get underwater shots just like that and leaving it down versus my other pole I have to hold it so I could do hands-free stuff. I verified there's nothing underneath there that I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna put through bolts and actually put a nut on the bottom so it's gonna be definitely heavy duty. And just gonna line it up where I want it. Right about there. And then just make some marks for where I need to drill. Boom, ready to go. All right, time to drill some holes. If you're one of those people that freak out about having to modify their kayak, it's just plastic. All right. Nobody cares if you drill a hole, you could just plastic weld over them, it's done. It doesn't affect the resale value. Once it's used, it's used. Um, fire away, make your kayak the way you want it to be. You'll be a lot happier and then that makes it a bigger chance that you're not gonna end up selling it. So we're going to grind out some holes. Bam. All right, I'm just gonna use some um, automotive ultra black gasket maker. Uh, I don't have any caulking or anything. You're just preventing keep water out. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. And just a little bit around the bolt holes. Little dab will do ya. Okay, our mount is in place. That's just gonna go there. And good to go. For the ball mount that's gonna be attached to the actual pole, just basically I got the ball that had a stud already into it. So drill the hole, self tap the uh, PVC onto the stud, and then I run a nylock nut on the inside so it won't back off but pretty easy. Now I'm just gonna glue that onto the PVC pole and good to go. Okay, all completed. The new cinematic stick is all done. It bounces, but it does not swivel down at the base. So it's solid, can maneuver it around. The good thing, like I said, is I can drop it all the way in the water and just hold it there, which will be pretty neat. Straight up, fully adjustable to the back. So, we are good. All right, next project. Okay, for our next Patreon supported uh, video subject, we're gonna go and uh, get my reels and rods back up in order. 
Uh, this is actually only half the order. I've got another half that is back ordered, but at least I can get these up to a working condition. Uh, out of my four everyday setups, uh, three out of the four reels were down, which included two of my light tackle pin conflict 4000s. Fortunately, I was able to scavenge parts off each, each other to get one workable unit, so I've been able to fish. But I still got this one that's been totally jacked up that I need to repair. Then I have the uh, Shimano Torium 16, which is my vertical jigging and bottom reel. Uh, this one, the anti-reverse uh, pawl, or like a shift dog, I guess they call it also. Uh, which prevents the reel from backlashing on itself. So as I'm reeling, if there's any pressure on it, I let go of that reel, it spins backwards and just unleashes a big holy hell of a uh, line there. Uh, I was also lost a couple of screws and the uh, drags were burned out to their a glass surface so they weren't any more um, friction on it. So I'm gonna replace those. And then one of my rods has a uh, just deteriorated butt cap. So I'm gonna be replacing that as well. So that's what we're gonna do. Put all this in these. All right, we're all done, all caught up. Uh, all those parts are installed and ready to go. I just need to mount these reels and they're all set and do some testing. Uh, I do have another batch of reel parts coming, the special order stuff, but fortunately, the items that I needed to get these all up and running, uh, they had in stock, so we're good to go there. 
Uh, but that's done. My uh, boom stick for the cinematic stick is all good to go, ready for testing there as well. So otherwise, I just really want to thank my Patreon supporters for supporting the channel. This is what you get for uh, all those donations. Uh, keeps me running smooth. But uh, also, I've got this. But this I'm going to do a special video on its own because it's kind of worth it there. But I'll be on the next video. But otherwise, uh, again, thank you very much for your support, Patreon people. And uh, otherwise, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye.